Hello everyone, Steve Bachkowski here from Hall Walls Contemporary Arts Center in Buffalo, New York. Hope you're doing well. Um, we're very pleased to be able to share with you some documentation um, of a visit by the late great bassist, poet, violinist Henry Grimes to Buffalo in September 2010. We had a fantastic couple of days with Mr. Grimes. He uh, gave a incredible workshop at Buffalo Academy of Visual and Performing Arts. Uh, he played a jam session at the Historic Colored Musicians Club, and he performed solo in Asbury Hall in front of hundreds of people. Um, we're very happy to be able to share this with you, and we'd like to give a special thanks to Brendan Bannon, Hank Cherry, and Margaret Grimes for making this visit possible. Um, we hope you enjoy and we look forward to seeing you at a live concert in the very near future. Thanks. Take care. One of the things that was really interesting to me was just how often you were finding um, Henry Grimes on shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like on a, you <clears throat> well, just talk about, talk to that idea for I a just, second? you know, it, uh, before coming to, to work the other day, just decided to go through my collection, and I was just surprised to find out how much stuff I had that he was on, or even albums that I was uh, familiar with, I hadn't realized that he was playing bass, or if I did, you know, I didn't know who he was at the time, so I forgot about it. So yeah, finding this, you know, Annie Ross and Jerry Mulligan and, you know, Don Cherry and, of course, several Albert Eiler and Cecil Taylor CDs. Uh, so I was, uh, yeah, surprised I had like a dozen uh, recordings that he was on in my collection and only knew about a few of them. So versatile that somebody could, uh, you know, traverse. The, the kind of musical territory that he did. And I remember talking to, to William Parker, and he was telling me how Alan Silva, the other bass player on some of the, the uh, seminal Cecil Taylor recordings, was, was scared of Henry. You know, he said, he said ah, I come in and Henry would be, you know, playing Bach cello suites, you know, and he'd be, you know, ripping through all this stuff, and he had all of this facility and technical command. He said, he said uh, he was a pretty intimidating guy just for his, not, not as a person, but his abilities as a, as a bass player was, uh, was startling and, uh, and I think uh, inspirational too, you know. But um, yeah, just, just pretty um, singular, uh, singular musician and singular figure. Not a lot of people able to cover the kind of ground that he did and does. So yeah, it's going to be an exciting night.
They lost the cosmic wheels, the world wide in the oceans, still and are still above the oceans of the clouds.
Thank you.